Hey y'all, welcome to Jenny Fit Start, your go-to fitness channel for active seniors and beginners. This channel is led by me, Jenny McClendon, a licensed physical therapist and fitness instructor with over 30 years experience, so you're in safe hands with me. Today we are going to go through my top treatments for plantar fasciitis. We hate it. We want to get rid of it. I'm here to help you. Stay with me. I'm going to take you through all the steps with easy to follow instructions. Treatment number one, massage. You can do this in three different ways. With your hands, with a ball, or with an outside piece of equipment like a foot massager. Let me take you through all three of these. Take your massage ball, it can be one of these with spikes for a deeper tissue massage, or even use a tennis ball. You're gonna put it down on the ground and you're gonna roll your foot in any way you want to. Forward and back, side to side, maybe even circles. The best thing about a ball is that you decide how much pressure you wanna put down. You can lean down into the ball as much as you want, or as light as you want to. I recommend doing this in a seated position. The second way you can massage it is with your own hands. What you can do is cross your foot on your knee and find the point of pain. It's usually right above the heel. Put your thumb in that position and give it a good push. As you're pushing down, you can make little small circles. You can use lotion or oil or um, sunscreen or anything that you want to. The other thing you can do is to pull your foot in a flex position. So pulling your toes back and using the knuckles of your opposite hand and rolling up that foot. That gives it a really deep type of tissue massage. And finally, if you can't remember all that, just grab your feet and massage any which way that feels good. You're not gonna mess it up. If anything, it's gonna really help by increasing the blood circulation to that area, decreasing tightness, and decreasing the inflammation. So just have fun and just keep moving and stretching that foot. The third way you can massage is have somebody or something do it for you. My favorite foot massage is the Bob and Brad foot massager. My favorite thing about it is that it provides not only as much pressure around the foot that you want, as much kneading as you want for the bottom of your feet and as much heat as you want. It feels amazing because you can control how much, what level of all those you want. So let me demonstrate. Okay, so let me just show you this massager. You just basically plug it in, y'all, and then you have control of how much kneading you want, low, medium, and high. You have the option of turning the air mode off and on. You also have the option of how much air pressure you want. How tight do you want your foot in there? And then the most favorite part of it to me is the heat. <laughs> so it just all feels really good. So let me just show you how you put your feet in and go away with that. Okay, so it's real easy. I plug it in, I put the settings I want, and then I put my feet in. I'm gonna give myself a little bit less air pressure. The heat's already on because I pushed the button before, so it feels great. And that's all I do. <laughs> it feels so great, especially after being on your feet for a long period of time. As a fitness instructor, I teach on so many different types of floors that when I get home, this is such a treat for me. It's like 10 minutes of me time. I can be doing emails, watching TV, but I just slip my feet in here and you can't feel it for me, but I'm telling you, it's just like a really good massage on my feet. It's perfect for plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendon, um, or just simply any type of foot kind of arthritic pain. So now I don't want to get up. I'm just going to sit here and enjoy for the rest of the video. Just kidding. 
I'm gonna move on, but uh, I do wanna express how much I love this foot massager. And you can find the link to order this under the description as well as any other um, product that I'm going over. All right, we talked about massage. Now let's go through ice. Ice is the best, cheapest, fastest, easiest way to decrease your inflammation, swelling, and pain. Now you can use a frozen pee bag and put it on your foot, but you're gonna have to sit still for about 15 minutes. I highly recommend using an ice massage cup. These are pretty cheap, under $10 um, on Amazon. However, you could also make your own with a styrofoam cup, fill it up with water, peel the bottom of your styrofoam cup off, and voila, you have a nice massage cup. Either way, I like this because I've had it for years and I can just refill and keep using them over and over and over. So with an ice massage cup, the important thing is that you keep it moving. You wanna keep it in small circles and it gets kind of messy. You're gonna start feeling the drip of water everywhere. So try and do it over a sink and maybe start with one minute and build yourself up to maybe four minutes. So with plantar fasciitis, you wanna find the point of pain. I'm gonna pull my foot just way up here <laughs> and you're gonna just put it right anywhere you want, but most people feel that pain right above the heel. Keep moving it, keep moving it, keep moving it. That is key. Now with ice, it's gonna go through a period of being cold and then burning and then numbing and that's where you wanna be. It'll probably be a little bit red after, but just make sure you don't go further than about four minutes and that you keep it moving. Now, if you don't like the ice massage, because I know it can be really cold, um, the other thing you can do is fill a water bottle up with water and then freeze it. And then what you wanna do is put it on the ground and you're gonna just roll your foot back and forth over the bottle. And this can be done sitting down. You can do things at the same time. And here you could go a little bit longer because it's not direct ice on the skin. So you could go a little bit longer than five minutes, but it's going to get tiring going back and forth. So give your goal of about five minutes. And you can move it as far up the toes you want, down to as far down to the heel as you want. Okay, next treatment. Let's talk about your shoes. Make sure your shoes are in good shape, that they're not too old. Look at the bottom of your shoes. Are they too smooth? Uh, go to a store that can analyze your gait and see what type of shoes are best for you. Do you have a flat foot? Do you have a high arch? There are certain shoes that are better than others for your type of foot. The other thing you can do is go see your doctor about a custom orthotic. Maybe you need something built especially for you to put in your shoe. They're pretty expensive, but they might change your life when it comes to your walking and your pain level. The other thing you can do is go to a drugstore and buy just a standard shoe insert. And maybe you want the full one or maybe you want the half ones. These are half ones and these go right at the bottom of your heel. It gives you a little extra cushion and it feels a little bit better to the foot when you're having to do those type of exercises or maybe your job where you're just having to be on your Number four, maybe you need some sort of splinting to keep your foot at a flex position. This is called a Strasberg sock. Now, it'll take me forever to put this on because I'm already kind of hot. However, <laughs> if you can see a little picture here, how's that? Basically, what this does is it keeps your foot in a flex position when you sleep. Because basically, when we sleep, our foot kind of hangs to a plantar flex position, right? So that when we take those first steps in the morning, ow, 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 it has stretched and probably torn some of that fascia. Now, if we were to sleep with our foot flexed, that first step in the morning is not gonna be so bad. All right, they're not the sexiest thing in the world to wear at night, but they really do work. And if you don't wanna buy one, you can make them yourself. Get a long tube sock, let some of the sock hang out from the toes, 
curl it up, put a safety pin on the top of the sock to the top on it where it rests on your shin. And that's gonna also keep your foot at a flex position. And your last one, the most important one, exercise. What do we need to do to help decrease that pain and inflammation? We need to stretch. Follow me while I take you through a couple of stretches. The first stretch is a calf stretch. And you're wondering, now why would I need to stretch up here if my pain is down in my foot? Well, your fascia connects from your toes to your heel. Your calf muscle connects from your heel to your knee. So it's all connected and we need to make sure we're stretching the whole part of it. A calf stretch looks like this. One foot behind you, press your heel down and keep the back of your knee straight. You don't really want it like this. I want it straight. And you can lean forward. Maybe you want to press your hands against a wall or a countertop or a dresser. And make sure that your toes are forward. Don't cheat by bringing your foot out. I know it's a little more comfortable that way, but let's keep it forward and get the full stretch. I would hold the stretches for at least 30 seconds to a minute. And I would do them on both sides, even if you don't have pain, but just on one side because it keeps you balanced, but also it might help prevent some fascia problems on the other foot. The other way you can stretch it is to go to a nearby step in your house, bring one foot off the back of the step, and I want you to slowly lower that heel down so now that your foot is at an angle. You'll notice if my foot was on the floor, I wouldn't be able to get this angle, Hence why a stair can be pretty beneficial. And now we're stretching more towards the Achilles tendon versus the top of the calf. And again, I would try both feet and a, most importantly is to go into this stretch slowly. Okay, here's a third way you can stretch it by using one of these heel cords, stretcher cords. These are awesome. You can use the link in my description to order this as well. However, you can also just use a sheet or a resistance band or a belt. Sometimes those can work too. But this does have a, like kind of like a boot, a soft boot inside so that it keeps your foot flexed. So basically what you wanna do is strap yourself in just like a sock. And strap yourself in with a sock. All right, so now you see it's kind of like my foot's in there. Now the cord is at the top near the toes, which is what I want, because now I have full control of how much I want to stretch it. I can do a little or a lot, and I like being in control of it. You can rest your leg on the ground and hold. You could hold it up a little, or if you really want to involve the hamstrings, and who doesn't, you can bring your leg up. Either way, you're going to hold this stretch for at least 30 seconds to a minute, and that's going to get more of the bottom of your foot. So combining the three stretches I showed you, you're going to be in great shape. And then finally, out of all those options, Let's rest. Now, I don't mean take a nap. I mean, rest from the activity you feel has caused your plantar fasciitis. If you're a runner, could you maybe start walking a little bit? If you started a new exercise program, could you decrease the frequency? If you're doing an hour and a half workout, could you try an hour? Either try and rest or modify. If you're standing on your feet for long periods of day, could you maybe try and sit down every 30 minutes just for a quick stretch or invest in a new pair of shoes? So think outside the box and I hope that your pain gets better. Keep following me for more fitness and physical therapy ideas. Um, I'm here to help you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, if you did like the video, I appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up and hit the red subscribe button. And if you have three minutes, I want you to watch the end of this video. It's gonna take you through how to join Jenny's Fit Bunch 
a membership group for active seniors all around the world where we get together and do live chats, live classes, um, personal training sessions, and more. Hey y'all, I am so, so excited. I have some great news about my YouTube channel. After posting lots of videos, I am realizing my favorite part, my love, is really connecting through you with your comments and even our Facebook page. So now, there is an easy and great way we can really connect with each other. It's called a YouTube channel membership. And YouTube just approved mine, yay! So, that is why you're seeing a join button right next to the subscribe button on my page. Now, please know, my current YouTube channel, Jenny Fitstart, is not going anywhere. It's not going to change, and all those videos will still be free to you. But here is the new exciting addition. If you join my membership channel, you will become a part of the group, Jenny's Fit Bunch. Okay, so let me explain what that is. If you click join, you will pay a $9.99 monthly membership fee, just like a gym membership fee, but cheaper. So what does that give you? Oh my gosh, lots, get ready, okay. It's the exciting part. First, a live class once a week. Yep, you heard me right, once a week. So each week, you will join me live for a one hour class. Now this will vary, but the format will always include cardio, strength training, and stretching. And guess what, you can comment during the class. How fun will that be? It will feel like you are taking one of my classes in person. And guess what? If you can't make the class, it will be archived into a library so you can do it anytime. This video will only be exclusively for Jenny's Fit Bunch. Okay, second, you get a pre-recorded personal training session once a week. Yes, I will videotape myself leading you through a 30 minute lesson, which will target age appropriate and safe exercises to help with building bone and muscle strength, increase balance, improve posture, aid in weight loss, and increase flexibility. Each week will be fun and different. You will never know what I have up in my sleeves. Now, these private lessons will only be available to Jenny's Foot Bunch. And then third, you get no more mid-roll ads. Yes, those disruptive ads in the middle of my videos will now be turned off on any new videos that I add on this channel. So to review, for only $9.99 a month, you get new videos with no ads, one live fitness class a week, and one recorded personal training session a week. Seriously, that comes out to be close to a dollar a class and a dollar a personal training session. I really did want to make this affordable. And guess what? You can cancel at any time. Y'all, I promise I am committed to you. I am committed to this new channel and I am committed to helping you get strong, stay happy and healthy and build relationships with all of you. It truly brings me so much joy and with over 28 years experience and being a licensed physical therapist, you will be in safe hands with me. So let's connect. Go to my channel, Jenny Fitstart and click join today. I thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. Now, let's have some fun and get moving.